very much. Um, hi everyone. Oh, just before I start, I'd just like us to acknowledge that we're the traditional owners and custodians of this land that we're meeting on. Um, this summer was the hottest on record. Uh, even the New South Wales Fire Commissioner has slammed um, the government for 10 years of inaction on climate change. And what about the images of all those thousands of fish dying in the Murray Darling? And even news that our iconic koala is even becoming extinct. And yet, we have liberal politicians spruiking even more coal-fired power stations in the Hunter. Um, the Greens have a plan to transition New South Wales to 100% renewable by 2030, um, with large-scale solar, wind, storage facilities in regional, regional areas, uh, and of course stopping uh, the continued broad-scale uh, land clearing, um, and of course keeping coal in the ground. And just on that topic, why is it that Liberals and Labor continue to support that disgusting Yadani project, which is only going to trash our planet even more? So, in this area, why do we have this massive inappropriate overdevelopment? Well, the simple answer is that the government has taken away the power, controlling planning power from local government, and placed it in the hands of the state planning minister. Right Council is a toothless tiger when it comes to vetting developer applications. The Greens would reverse that so that local residents, again, have the power to make sure that their the developments are appropriate for our area with the proper recreational facilities and that new dwellings are high quality, zero emissions, and have the appropriate social housing component. Like you, I often wonder why our, our politicians don't seem to be doing the sensible thing. Why ignore climate science and, and keep pushing ahead with coal? You know, why spend billions rebuilding sports stadiums when our schools and TAFE are really you know, desperately short of money? Why ignore transport experts and pour tens of billions of dollars into motorways which we know are never going to solve traffic congestion? And why no progress on gambling reform? Well, we just often don't know the answers to these things because information is hidden behind this, you know, cabinet incompetence, veils, veil of security. Um, what we do know is that in 2017, Libs, Labor and, and Nationals received a million dollars of uh, money from the fossil fuel industry in donations, and the clubs with all their pokies are still strong donors. The Greens would outlaw all corporate donations from, uh, uh, yeah, all from, corp from corporations and ensure that any lobbying is minuted and made public. Um, so, <laughs> In summary, just to finish off, the Greens' principles are simply this. Environmental sustainability, economic and social justice, peace and non-violence. All our policies are on the website and uh, I'm available if you'd like to ask questions at any time. Thank you.